Good morning, Democrat. How you guys doing? Well, let's face it. Uh, it is my distinguished uh, honor uh, to be at your presence. And as, as I was driving down here this morning, and we got to attend this event, uh, I come to the conclusion that why I am going down there. And I realized that the city of Brooklyn is a place where people like you live. And the greatness of this place is the diversity that we have among us. And one of the things that I've been paying attention, especially from U.S. Senator Ed Markey and some of the people that spoke already, is the greatness of our nations and how we got here. And as you know, uh, I was born in Haiti and I came in this country about nine years ago. And when I first came here, I could not speak a word of English. And here I am eight years later asking you for your vote September 17th to be the next mayor of Brockton. We don't have enough time to go through the history and we got to why we are here, but here's what I can tell you. As we speak, I am not just a candidate. I am an elected official serving you in the city of Brockton. This election will determine the next five years, 10 years, and even 20 years in this city. Now is the moment I believe we gotta embrace not just us, but also the greatness of the city by coming up with bold and progressive leadership and vote for people who has backbone and will do what they say and act accordingly. As a young person myself, 29 years old, I couldn't be more proud of having a place to live as the city of Brockton. Those of you who know me, you know that, that I'm bold, I'm progressive, and I'm determined. And that's why we're here. We gotta talk about equity and balance for all of us. I come up with a platform that represents everyone, education, public safety, youth empowerment, senior homelessness. These are the things that I think is so important. But today, here's what I'm gonna ask you. Listen to my voice, look at me in my face, see and witness what I've been able to do and take my words for it, when I become the next mayor of Brockton, you will have somebody at City Hall that will work for you, with you, and not against you. This selection is about all of us, and the result will determine the outcome. On September 17th, please, I am begging you, join me on this journey, and let's believe in Brockton together. My slogan is, believe in Brockton. If you believe in Brockton, I believe in you. And if you believe in yourself together, Let's make this happen and let's do it by voting for Jim Bradley, the winning court, September 17th, the next mayor of Brockton. If you get my name, my name will be the longest name on the ballot. Let's get it done. I love you all. God bless you. Let's get this done.